Hello guys and welcome back to another video. We are getting back into some hacknet today and whoa what I'm sorry my computer just did something weird. I don't know if it shows up on the video or not. So but again keep in mind if you want to read anything that you can just pause the video um, and it looks like there's something interesting here on the Rebris server about Clarity being their password or something so we're going to check that out at some point here. So yeah, but I want to hear what you guys are thinking of this uh, Hacknet series. Tell me in the comments whether you like it or not. You know, just let me know what you think of it. Because I know for sure I've ha been having a blast. So that apparently was the password to the firewall. So now we're just going to open up these ports here because why not? I mean, who wouldn't want to watch these animations? They're so amazing. And this music is so good too. I mean, I just love playing this game. I could play this game probably like five times over or something. Alright. So, get our two ports hacked. Now we can do the port hacking. You don't have to open up every port every time, although it is indeed fun. Uh, scan network. I think we may have found something. And let's take a deeper dive without the trace on our back. Alright, so... Um, this is looking like just a bunch of mumbo jumbo that doesn't mean anything, but this looks interesting. So we've got some... Okay, that doesn't help any. Um, gotta look over this stuff real quick. Make sure that everything is in line and what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. <clears throat> and I am still continuing to tweak my mic as I sit here and uh, do this. So please let me know if there is anything that I need to do to uh, make that better as I'm constantly looking for ways that I can improve. But please make sure you structure your words in a way that is helpful <laughs> to me like don't just say it oh my gosh snarl your mute your audio stinks that doesn't help if, now if you were to say hey snarl your audio is a little quiet today or is the last three videos it's been a little quiet you might want to bump that up a little bit. that is very helpful so anyway we found a uh device, so I'm just going to device scan all of them, just to make sure there's nothing else. No other devices. And we've got administrator privileges on this phone because we know the password. <laughs> oh boy. That's just so much fun. Uh, nothing really on it? Alright, let's see what we got in the notes. Um, injection. What is this? Uh, just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Some more mumbo jumbo by the looks of it. Some further mumbo jumbo, and ooh, that looks interesting. So if you didn't know, you can press scan. You can type out scan, and then the number of a port, and it will actually just pop up the uh, little icon at the bottom instead of actually connecting to it. It's a way to find it without connecting. So. Yep, we got the home one, which I'm fairly certain the work one is the same as this one right here, but so we won't uh, bother with that. See? Always remember to remove your logs, though. Alright, let's see, what else do we... Um, Alright, so let's get into this system, see what we got. Ooh, three ports and some fun ones, too. Alright, let's see, let's do the FTP. On port... 21 to the SSH, and then we'll do the Trojan as soon as the uh, FTP is done, which it just finished, so that's very helpful. And that should be our three ports we need. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've, I tend to stick to the uh, quicker um, ports, as... I don't want to just sit there and wait forever for the stupid thing to go away, and it takes uh, typically some of them take up a boatload of the uh, RAM that I have to work with, so I'm like, uh, no thank you. Ooh, that looks interesting. 
So what do we got there? Ooh, what is this? Give me, give me. It looks good. To uh, might be what I'm looking for. So let's remove logs. Uh, that just a bunch of stuff not important and disconnect. All right, so let's check in with what we got here. So supposed to sh share, discover something useful, and share it with the rest of them. All right. So we can, oh, oh forgot, got to put it on the server, <laughs> upload it. So we're going to upload from our bin the uh, signal scramble, which is a really fun piece of tech when I get, if I ever get to use it. So yeah, mission complete. All right, let's look at what the next project is. Oh, we got, all right, memory forensics. Uh, nice to know. All right. So, let's do memory forensics one slash three. Actually, no, and uh, one, yeah. So, what are the mission guidelines? We are, all right, so we gotta find out on the server, the uh, drop server, wherever that is. Uh, what, what the heck are they saying? I can't even keep up with them, they speak so quickly. And do you guys know if you can actually type into this, uh, what you call, oh, there's the server, the uh, chat on this game, because if you, if you guys could tell me that, that would be actually really fun to just say a bunch of random stuff, so please let me know. All right, so view files, signal scrambles there now. So system bin memory forensics. That's what we're looking for. So we got to copy that memory forensics, and basically that just me reads memory dump files. Is what I understand. So we got to look at we got to find one on drop server and go through it. I think. But let me check. <laughs> Let's get the files. Go home. Memory dumps. There we go. So, those are servers. Um, I need to look at number one and number. I need to copy the dump one and dump two. I believe. This is what they said, if I remember correctly. So there's dump one and dump two. Now we go over here and look at our files, and we're gonna run. Why do I have? Why do I have this stuff? All right, we're gonna do a little cleanup of my uh, home file real quick. Get rid of the SSL trojan decoding. Well, yeah, encryption, encrypted files, and whatnot. Just get rid of all these things I don't need. All right, so now we're gonna do memory. Forensics. Oops, forgot to label the file. So, um, no, I have not tried the signal scramble yet. But I do know it's pretty ridiculous. Alright, you're distracting me, dude. So, back to home. So, damn, how do I. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, so let's try re-putting it in. Oh, you gotta put the file name. Okay, that makes complete and utter sense. Alright, so let's check out the memory. Nothing. Check out the files and memory. And recent commands. Ooh, here's some interesting stuff. I see an IP there, so let's scan that IP. 8829144.6 And then there's a second IP there, which we shall also scan. That one is 167.72.73.1. Five six. So we got 
both of those. And we need to you know, denote the user is listen, and password is that thing. Which I. Right. So now we're going to do it on the second file. Actually, we're going to. Yeah. And. So we have. Uh, user listen and password that. So we're just going to close the display so we can put, type in listen. And then the password we can just open 4TL. So 4TL 4M. Whatever it was. <laughs> and unfortunately, guys, that's all I got time for today. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and if you really enjoyed it feel free to uh, subscribe and join the channel and as always have a great day this is Snow the Boss signing off goodbye